Yeah, how far? All the way. So like, a half an inch? Uh, all, all, all the way. Like, completely in your ass. How come that works sometimes and it doesn't other times? Killing plutonium with my grenade launcher sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Frustrating when it doesn't, because I'm in a planet and the solar system doesn't have much plutonium on it. You know, one thing I do have to say is that I, I do kind of appreciate the minimal AI, or the minimal UI in this game. The UI pisses me off sometimes too, because like it'll bug out on a fucking quest, like now it keeps telling me, upload creature data, and it's like, uh, okay, I already did, I don't have any to upload, and it just sticks on it, and when it does it, it disappears the rest of the UI. I don't know how Dave was able to feed an animal. I can't feed this animal. <coughs> yeah, you can feed some animals. It says it's calm and let me walk right up to it, but it's uh eats oxides from the planets, which I have, it just won't let me do anything. There's no no anything on it. That does not look friendly. Crab spiders are never friendly. <laughs> That's pretty much a guarantee. Like it's funny. Any anytime it has crab legs in this game, it's it's not friendly. The 
Squid Lakes, though, is sometimes friendly. It's not reliable, though. I only had one thing attack me. Uh, a plant attack me. Oh, yeah, the little, like, big plants. Like a little penis plant. That's, that's what I named it. You should check my screenshots. I named one of the creatures after Nod. So the uh, squid crab mantis thing that I found, I'm naming the Japanese crab mantis. I don't think anybody's gonna get the reference. What? Found it. Yes, I did. And I just found a cave that I'm gonna blow my way into because I can't find the entrance. kinda cool. I scanned and I could see that there was a cave around here so I did what you were talking about, just blew my way into it. And uh, right into the loot room basically. You what? Right into the loot room basically. Oh nice. I made the mistake of buying like 400 uh, <laughs> stabilization things because they were just fucking. They were just everywhere. Where's that fucking vortex cube? What? Um, they just weren't available that much, so every time I went to a space station, I bought every one there was. Because I was afraid I'd run into one that wouldn't have any. So now I have like 5 million, it's taken up all my inventory space. And I ran out of the plutonium to uh, convert it all into uh, antimatter. So I'm having to like run around and fight to find my plutonium. Yeah, I just cut down a massive obelisk of aluminum. I don't know, how massive was it? You can ask Pavk about the massivity of mine.
Oh, found another cave. Going for it. A radiation storm's about to start. It's covered in vortex cubes, which you can pick up for free. I bet you if I found a trade post, I could just sit there and farm those from the fucking edge of the trade post and make millions. I was doing that with, I made a couple million dollars in like no time at all. Prof guy found a planet that was filled with venom sacks. I had to fight sentinels for it, but they sold for 30k each and all you had to do was shoot them. Huh? Yeah, that's a pretty good return. Yeah, I was able to fill my inventory up and like right outside the fucking trade post on the l l land and make fucking oh my god, quit lagging. Make three to six hundred depending on if I could get my ship filled or not. Cool, I got it saved. What is that? Th what is that? Oh man. What's up? I'm just trying to find uh, more than I need. Oh my god, my ship just landed on me. Oh, I had a, uh, found a call your ship thing. <laughs> 